in the last lecture we saw what is an electric current and in this lecture we will understand what do we mean by conventional current and electron current and to understand these two currents i have taken one arrangement in this arrangement you can see three things the first one is the battery the second one is the bulb and the third one is the copper wire we are using to connect battery and the bulb now to understand what is actually happening in this circuit i will magnify this portion of the copper wire and after magnifying this portion of the copper wire we can clearly see the free electrons present in the copper wire free electrons are present in the copper wire because copper is a metal and most of you must have seen this type of diagram in many books where a battery is connected to a wire with high cross sectional area using the wire with a low cross sectional area but this is not true we are not using a wire with high cross sectional area the cross sectional area of this wire and this wire is same we have simply magnified this portion of the wire to understand the movement of electrons and now we will focus on how electrons are drifted in this particular arrangement you can see battery's positive terminal is connected to the copper wire and then copper wire is connected to one terminal of the bulb then the other terminal of the bulb is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so in this way the circuit is complete and therefore there will be a current through the bulb and therefore bulb will glow now due to the positive terminal of the battery the electrons present in the copper wire will be drifted towards the positive terminal because we know electrons are negatively charged and therefore they will be attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery so electrons will move in this direction and in the last lecture we saw the flow of electrons or the movement of electrons is known as the electric current because movement or flow of charge is the electric current and in this case the charge is carried by the electrons therefore flow of electrons will constitute a current which is known as electron current and the direction of electron current is same as the flow of electrons therefore we are calling the current as electron current and we will represent it by i dash so i dash is equal to the current known as electron current and this current is due to the flow of electrons and therefore we call it natural current as well it is also known as natural current it is natural current because it is due to the actual flow of the electrons which are the reason of the current in this circuit and the electron current in this circuit is in anti clockwise direction and one thing you can notice electron current is entering the positive terminal and it is leaving the negative terminal now we will talk about the another current which is known as conventional current in earlier days people assumed the flow of current is due to the movement of positive charges but later on they came to know that the flow of current is mainly due to the movement of electrons but as the convention was there we have a conventional current which i will represent by i and the conventional current is having the direction opposite to that of electron current so in this circuit the conventional current will leave the positive terminal and it will enter the negative terminal so current i will leave the positive terminal and the current i will enter the negative terminal this is a very important point because throughout our analysis we are going to use conventional current 
and conventional current is in the direction of electric field. You can note down this point that conventional current is in the direction of electric field. Now we will quickly revise conventional current and electron current. Conventional current is the current which is due to the positive charges movement or you can say it is the current which is in the direction of electric field and this is the current we are going to use throughout in this course and by the positive charge we do not mean the holes present in the semiconductor because we are talking about the metals and in metals holes are not present now on the other hand electron current or natural current is in the direction of movement of negative charge or we can say electrons because we will mainly deal with electrons so I hope you now understand what do we mean by electron current or natural current and conventional current now even if you forget what do we mean by electron current it is okay but it is not okay to forget what do we mean by conventional current because throughout the circuit analysis we are going to use conventional current now we will move to the next point and in this point I will explain how the current value will change by reversing the direction of the current and to understand this point let's take one copper wire this copper wire is the part of some electrical circuit and through this copper wire there is a current flowing from left to right and the current is equal to 5 ampere now if we assume the current is flowing from right to left then this current will be equal to minus 5 ampere so when we reverse the direction of the current negative sign will come or you can say negative sign will reverse the direction of the current this is also one important point because it will be used a lot now we will move on to the homework problem in this homework problem there is a copper wire you can see in the figure and in the wire electrons are moving from left to right so electrons are moving from left to right this is the direction of movement of electrons and you need to determine I1 and I2 when current due to the movement of electron is equal to 2 milli ampere I1 is having the direction from left to right and I2 is having the direction from right to left and because of the movement of electrons the current is equal to 2 milli ampere so try to solve this question and once you have the values of I1 and I2 don't forget to post it in comment section so this is all for this lecture I will end it here see you in the next one